is, according to my professional expertise and experience, the effects of the Mercury retrograde are real. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the notes that I have for myself to remind myself every single time a Mercury retrograde begins about how to approach it with just the greatest ease and flow <laughs> and harmony. And, you know, since I made these tips for myself, I was hoping that they might be able to help other people too. So I'm hoping you can benefit from today's video and let's just jump right in. <laughs> it's so funny to revisit these notes from the last Mercury retrograde, these notes that I finalized all the way back on June 1st. Okay, so here's my advice to myself and to you. During this Mercury retrograde, remember to have a sense of humor. During Mercury retrogrades, by the way, one out of every four people walking here on planet Earth was actually born during a Mercury retrograde. So for these people, the Mercury retrograde energy feels like really comfy, cozy, but for those of us who were born <laughs> with Mercury direct and sailing in the sky like me, like Mercury was actually with the sun when I was born, but anyway, the Mercury retrograde, it can feel a little bit wonky as things begin to slow down. And it's very common during Mercury retrograde that you'll experience traffic delays or you'll be at a self checkout and the person in front of you will somehow manage to take 25 minutes to uh, just scan their bag of chips or <laughs> any number of other things. Your computer that always works uh, just you know decides that it needs to do an automatic uh, reinstall of the software and you don't have access for two hours or all kinds of other things. And I think the most important, you know, note for myself, like as we go through the experience of these next three weeks is just every day I just remind myself, sometimes you just got to laugh. Just have a sense of humor. Um, I never want anyone out there to like feel laughed at, but when you see these crazy tech stuff, like when you see this kind of stuff happen or these delays or you misunderstand what someone says, if you can laugh about it, laughter is really a great way to transmute the stress, <laughs> transmute the tension, transmute the energy, just laugh it off, laugh it off. Um, be flexible and adaptable. Rarely do things go according to plan during a Mercury retrograde. Actually, when things do go according to plan, like when an order actually comes on time or an appointment starts on time during the retrograde, that is when I'm shocked. I'm always like, oh, thank you, universe. Like, yeah, like this is a miracle. If things go according to plan during a Mercury retrograde, it's a, it's a miracle we're celebrating. But otherwise, it's very important to be flexible or adaptable. You know, if you're on the phone, like you're with the customer service um, and they say, oh, can I put you on hold? Absolutely. I'm flexible. I'm adaptable. Don't worry about it. You show up for a date and you get a text from the person. It's going to be another hour. Don't worry about it. I'm flexible. I'm adaptable. Be flexible. Be adaptable plan to be flexible and adaptable as you go about your life. Just make it a part of your everyday plan. Today, when I pack my purse, when I pack my backpack, I also pack my sense of humor. I also pack my flexibility. I also pack my adaptability. For me personally, I reminded myself to really embrace like a slow, mindful approach. Um, things have a way of taking time, but things have a way of taking extra time uh, during Mercury retrograde. If we flow with this, he, I will tell you what, if you want to have a really bad Mercury retrograde and you want to be stressed, try to do things quickly. <laughs> Leave the house late. Try to send something important in the mail at the very last minute. If you want things to go bad, rush. Like, okay, if you want things to go good, give yourself twice the time for everything. And um, 
just in general, just be slow and mindful. But truly like Mercury retrograde is a natural slowdown. And in modern life, in, in I believe in the past, it was more common for people to take time away, rest, recharge, you know, even during winter, flow with the seasons, you know, spend more time in quiet. And yet we've lost touch with that. But the planets have not. So Mercury retrograde is when we would naturally rest, do less, be quiet, reflect. So if you flow with that and you intentionally slow down and you even be a bit more mindful about everyday things like uh, maybe you know taking a, a, a shower quietly. I know about I don't know about you guys, but for me sometimes like. I'll listen to a podcast in the shower or something, but instead showering in silence, like reflecting, you know, slowly uh, cooking and being like present with your food or slowing down, sitting down to eat, lighting a candle, you know, really tasting your food, just being very mindful in the way that you go about your extra um, activities and just acknowledging that, you know, things may take extra time plan for that and enjoy the indulgence of spending a little bit of extra time doing those everyday things. Oh my gosh, you guys, there is this YouTuber I used to watch and I don't know if she's still active, but her channel name was called Fly with Stella and she's a bright, bright light. Fly with Stella. Hi, Stella. (laughs) But um, I mainly watched her because she would always say like this one thing, which was, be the palm tree and she was a flight attendant and she said that at flight attendant training that they were um, instructed to be like the palm tree and palm trees are almost never damaged in uh, tropical storms especially like mild tropical storms and that's actually because when the wind comes and when the water comes and the tsunami they just they like can bend all the way Like they can bend like all the way over and not break. And so where other trees are broken down and power lines are broken down, uh, the palm tree just gets right through the storm. So you guys, be the palm tree. Flow with whatever happens during the Mercury retrograde. Be the palm tree, please. Please, we need, actually you guys, actually, um, we need, more palm trees like we actually like we need we need actually a lot more palm trees okay during the retrograde so please be one of the palm trees if you can which is my next reminder to myself is like help others who are struggling um help wherever you can it just is the case that people are going to be struggling to understand things people are going to experience stress from the delays people are going to experience tech issues during mercury retrograde if you can lend a helping hand you know if someone's getting frustrated about how to do something and you know how to help them help them you know be of support and assistance if you can um yeah i know we've all been helped in life and just pay it forward if you can now this one is huge this for my personal reminders this one's probably the most important um Don't throw money or time at problems that could fix themselves within a couple of weeks. So what I found is that usually during Mercury retrograde, a problem will develop in our life. And this is typically seen, if you know a little about astrology, from the house in which Mercury is transiting, the topics that the problem will relate usually to the topics of the house where mercury is transiting using whole sign houses okay like so that's my that's my sense but either way you are likely to face a problem okay you're likely to face a problem during mercury retrograde often the clear like clarity about the problem doesn't even come until the midpoint of the retrograde which is at least 10 days into the retrograde often the best path forward does not emerge until the very end of the retrograde or even when Mercury goes direct. And usually if we try to solve a problem, it ends up being a waste. So for example, like if your laptop computer stops working at the beginning of the retrograde, don't just go out and buy another computer. 
Um, if you don't use it every day, if it's not essential, even if it is essential, go buy a new computer and then keep the receipt because your other computer will probably start working again or you'll figure out, oh, it was just a small issue sometime at the second half of the retrograde. Problems have a way of resolving themselves with time during the retrograde. So try not to get too stressed when the problem comes. Try not to throw a bunch of money. And this is really hard for me. Like you guys, like I really struggle with this. I am a problem solver. I am definitely a problem solver, but I've learned over time that the Mercury retrograde problems feel really intense in the moment and the changes and all of it, it feels, but then throughout the retrograde, the best path forward is revealed. And usually, very often, either the problem just goes away or fixes itself, um, or the, a simple solution presents with time. So you really want to spend the full two weeks allowing yourself to come to, to a deeper understanding of the problem and the potential solutions, okay? So don't throw money and time um, at problems. Don't even, like, like, quick action is not aligned with the retrograde. So it can be hard to sleep on it with stuff sometimes, but sleep on it. You know, if it's a relational problem or it's a work problem or any kind of problem, you can let a person know I'm aware of the problem and I'm going to get back to you. I'm aware of the problem and I'm going to sleep on it. I'm aware of the problem and I'm going to take a moment to do some research and I'll get back with you. Put a bit of time and space <laughs> between you and any problems. Okay. Um, my note to myself, this is getting so personal, stick with what works. Okay, my note to myself, my note to you, stick with what works. This is not a good time for trying new things. Um, now I get that could be a bit of a controversial statement. Um, however, I found it to be very true. Stick with what works. If you've got, you know, a facial moisturizer and it works, you know, your face is moisturized, just use that, you know? <laughs> You guys like will not even understand like the amount of time and money I have wasted on like new things like during Mercury retrograde um, that just were a total waste of money. Almost everything that I ever have bought that's new during a Mercury retrograde was just a, a catastrophic failure. <laughs> Like, it's funny now, like, but it isn't funny, like, when it's happening. But, like, whether it's food, whether it's clothing, whether it's technology, vacations, like, ideas, like, literally everything new, like, during Mercury retrograde, like, once Mercury goes direct, it's like, what was I thinking? Like, what was I actually thinking? So, so the correct guidance is stick with what works. Stick with what works. If you get a haircut, and like you love your hair usually, and like maybe you're sort of interested in like trying something new, but it's like, you know what? This haircut is, this suits me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is not the time to like get a buzz cut or something like that and just try something new. Stick with what works. You know, if you're hosting like a family dinner or something like that, and it's like, oh, last time I made the lasagna and everybody just raved, like, make the lasagna again like just make the lasagna again like if you you know if you always get great like feedback you know when you have an outing or something like that and you wear a certain uh shirt color or a certain dress or just wear that again just stick with what works like oh my gosh um stay on top of supplies okay if you have essential supplies like medication or household supplies um, or work supplies like printer cartridges or whatever it is, don't wait until it runs out, okay? Because during Mercury retrograde, sometimes things that are always on the shelf, whether that shelf is a physical shelf or it is like a virtual shelf, like an Amazon shelf or something like that, tend to be out of stock. Like, okay, even when they're always in stock, when Mercury is direct. Um, so stay on top of supply. Don't let stuff like run out. Like if you can afford to do so, stock up a little bit, have a backup supply of anything that is essential. This also applies to gasoline too. If you're like driving around, like don't let your tank go to empty, okay? Stay on top of supply. Oh my gosh, you guys, like my personal notes for myself. Um, don't try any new supplements. Uh, don't try any new styles of clothing. Like, oh, these are my traps. This is the type of stuff I'll spend forever shopping for. Um, 
So don't, I mean, I just, rec it may sound dramatic. Like I get a lot of this may sound dramatic, but I mean, this is my best. Like I'm just telling you, like after observing for 10 years and like seeing like, this is my, this is the best I have to offer you guys. Um, I just really don't, I really recommend you don't try it. <laughs> like anything new, like I really like, I mean, unless, like unless you're like wanna have an experience like in a story to tell, but like if you really want things to like work really good and you already have like a vitamin that works, just take that vitamin, don't order the new one. Like that's gonna be, that's gonna be really, really good. Um, so speaking of which, when it comes to shopping, uh, reorder things that worked before. So like, well, I wouldn't recommend that you try something altogether new. Like I would actually recommend if there was something that you used to do or you used to like, or you used to buy, and that's actually what I'm doing here today, like with this video. Like I used to make YouTube videos like this using just the built-in camera on my computer. That's how I built my YouTube channel. So I thought, well, let's try it again and like see how it is. Like, let's see if people like this. Like, cause it feels really natural for me. So like, let's see how it is. Um, but yeah, so this is a great time to go back and do things if it worked before. If you did it before and it didn't work, I wouldn't recommend that again. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you did it before and it did work, go back. This is a good time. Do things that worked before. Um, finish unfinished tasks. Okay, that's my note to myself. You finish unfinished tasks. This is a really good time. Like, you know how we buy books, like with the greatest of intentions. Maybe it's something else for you. Maybe it's a book. I don't know. Maybe it's a program, something like that. And it's like, yeah, like I'm definitely gonna do this or like read this or whatever. But then like we don't. This is the time. Look on your bookshelf. What did you say you were gonna read and you didn't? D before going out and buying a new book or starting a new program, first finish what is unfinished. This is an excellent time for finishing what is unfinished, uh, reading what has been unread, you get what I'm saying? Like, try to complete what's already been started. This is a really good, I think we all have unfinished tasks, you know? Maybe we started organizing the closet, we got one box together, and then an interesting call came about, and then months and months passed, and it's really not done. But like this, like if you're going to take on projects, the best kind, would be projects you previously started that were unfinished. If you're watching this in real time, you might think back to late April or May of 2023, and now we're in the retrograde again. Maybe you pick up where you left off. Um, okay, I don't know if the rest of these are gonna help you guys that much. Um, you know, I wrote to myself, take stock of the things like on the watch later list. You know how like sometimes we make like lists like that? Like I do at least like on the YouTube app, like, oh, I'll watch later. Like I have like 600 things like on that list. Like this is an excellent time for watch later. This is an excellent time for getting caught up. This is an excellent time for taking inventory, you know, to see what do you really have? Like, especially before buying anything else. This is an excellent time for like pulling out the user manual of that camera that you've been wanting to use or of your cell phone and like learning how to work better with like technology that you already have rather than buying new technology. It's a great time to keep your receipts like because you know in just a couple of weeks time maybe you won't need that thing that you just bought. You know what I mean? My final note is when communicating. Communication can get really wonky. Um, someone can literally say something to us and our, wor our, our mind hears different words than what they actually said. I mean, communication can get really, really like twilight zone. Like communication can get really, really weird. Like, okay, get really, really weird. Um, during the Mercury retrograde. So my note to myself is like, Repeat back to others what you heard in order to get clarification. So someone says to you like, okay, like we're all set, you know, it's okay, see you for brunch, like on 10 o'clock on, on Saturday, like at, you know, the Blue Dove restaurant, like see you later. It's like, wait, 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 let me help. Like, okay, I just heard you say that we're gonna meet at 10 o'clock a.m. for brunch on Saturday, September 5th at the Blue Dove restaurant. And they go, no, 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 no. No, that's not what I said. 
I said at 11 o'clock and it was going to be um it was going to be August 30th and it was going to be on Tuesday. It was going to be at the at the at the Blue Heron. <laughs> what? Like like that's like literally that's that's it. Like that is exactly like the type of crazy stuff that happens like during Mercury retrograde. So like the best thing you can do is just like repeat back even via text like okay like here's what i'm thinking this is the plan and then like you text back like okay the plan let me make sure i understood the plan is blah 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 like no that's not it you know so sometimes people will be like yeah you got it you know but like whether it's you know whatever whether it's a work thing whether it's a family thing whether it's a relational thing whatever it is where possible repeat back exactly what you heard um for clarification and the more important that it is the more like the more important the topic is the more important it is that you repeat it back i also recommend reminders oh the way that i do my readings like people actually send me questions and then i send them back like a very delightful mp3 audio recording for them to listen to at their convenience when mercury is direct most people just remember like they just are like they just like send me their questions and like I have the stuff on time and like most people most of the time mostly do it correctly without a lot of reminders during the mercury retrograde that is not the case I just realized this whole time like my wireless headphones have been talking what are they talking about more productive well I'm not doing that like oh uh, but yeah like, and I'm definitely not doing that like during Mercury retrograde like oh like I want to though I mean I want to but I'm just being realistic <laughs> and it's a realistic and realistic experience like um um people realistically forget everything so like people realistically they do forget like to send their questions like they do forget like to send everything and they do require like 10 20 30 40 no i'm just kidding but like people do need to be like reminded more uh during mercury retrograde like they definitely need like don't forget to like get your like if somebody if i need somebody's questions by friday like i might start like the you know i might start like on sunday like remember to send your questions and then like monday tuesday like people need more reminders so like just be really patient with people be patient with yourself uh be understanding be be the palm tree you know what i mean be the calm in the storm help others don't make rash decisions. Give problems time and space. I heard you, I'm aware of the problem. I'm going to take a moment to do my research. I'm gonna take a moment to sleep on it. I'm gonna consider all the options. Keep your receipts. Stick with what works. Wear the best, you know, wear your best shirt that already people love. You, you know, go for the dress that everyone loves every time you wear it. Uh, don't spend a lot of time, money on things that you're not sure about because um, pretty assuredly, you're gonna decide you don't like them <laughs> like in just a couple weeks time. Um, take stock of your pantry, see what you have, finish your un unfinished projects. And really, I think more than anything else, just, just turn off the phone. You know what I mean? Like literally, just like power off your phone, even if it's only for 10, 20 minutes a day. Just close out of your inbox. For once in your life, just light a candle and just cozy up with a book and maybe don't even read it. Maybe just gaze on it. You know what I mean? Or just like, just like go, like for once, for once in your life, like go for a walk in nature and just leave the phones in the car and just be there with whoever you're with, even if it's your dog, and just be present. And, you know, a big thing that's missing in modern life is, is actually quiet. And I believe for our mental health, yes, it's good to learn and it's good to talk and it's good to take in information, but it's also essential um, to give ourselves space to process all of that. Not just when we're sleeping, but when we're awake. And Mercury retrograde is when we're meant to process. 
okay, for in all seriousness. Um, and it's that liminal space, that quiet space that we all need. And some kind of higher power has determined that we all need it about 25% of the time because that's about how often Mercury is retrograde, you know, 20 to 25% of the year. And so if you can, in whatever way feels right to you, give yourself that time during this Mercury retrograde. Build in a little bit of that time. It will help you mind, body, and soul. So thank you guys like so much for watching. Below, I'm going to link some other videos I've previously done on Mercury retrograde. Um, and yeah, I'm just wishing you all well. If anybody would like a reading, I'll also include details below about that. Um, but I just appreciate you being here and I appreciate you watching here as I experiment with this old format of video. Um, many, many blessings. Many blessings to all of you guys during this Mercury retrograde. Um, stay safe out there <laughs> and enjoy.